my wife has requested another bookshelf. My wife is getting another bookshelf. <laughs> These are the original plans as drawn a few months ago for my wife. Um, some things have changed. Uh, mostly you'll notice some pencil marks there. Uh, that's not because I screwed up the measurements. That's because uh, the boards I got that were supposed to be 8 foot turned out to be 7 foot 6 inches. So that was a problem. I, I, I fixed it. I did. But we had to change measurements just a little bit. Also, I was just going to put um, shelf pieces on. But she wants to do uh, doors on this bottom section. So what I'm going to do is a full face frame and then do something a little fancy on the bottom. But not... Not too fancy. There we go. For the last couple of weeks, um, I've, I've been questioning my own ability, and uh, it all has to do with with this square. Um, I uh, I would mark a line, and I'd go to cut, and my cut would be would not match the line, and I mean it'd be square, but it wouldn't match the line. But I knew my square was right, and I'd you know I'd put it up there, and it, it'd look right, and it wasn't, and Man, it just really, really threw me for a loop. And today, I found out why. That's not a booger. Oh, no. No, that's glue. And just enough glue to throw it out of square. Ah! All the carcass boards are now cut, including the rabbits that I did with the router. Um, I've got the shelf edges E so they fit in just fine without splintering. Um, I've cut out a quarter by three eighths um, around both sides and the top uh, for the quarter inch backing. And I'm going to do a quick dry fit and then start gluing. I have face frames for the shelf cut out of poplar, so uh, three inch for the bottom and then two inch for uh, for the sides, the top, and then the shelf runners. My face frame is all cut out, um, and it is marked here for the dominoes and all the joints. You don't want to be the old guy that can't hear anybody else in the room, ear protection, and you've got two eyes. Wear your safety equipment. All of my domino pockets are cut and we're ready to glue up. Well, thankfully my memory card filled up before you saw the fiasco of me getting this thing on here straight and nailing it down. But it's done. Face frame's on. Drill a hole, use a jigsaw, and cut it out. Sand it after. Now, I could use a drill press and the bandsaw and then put it on the oscillating sander as well. But this is what I'm doing because I just thought of it. And a little tiny bit of flare added to the bottom. The face frame is on. One little bit of an issue with the glue on the top. I had to redo that one just a little bit, but that's it. Um, all the holes are filled. All the knots um, have putty on them as well because I don't want any bleed through. Let that dry tonight and give her a good sanding tomorrow and then do the initial fit for the two doors on the bottom. Sanded and ready for its very first coat of paint. I do need to clean it out though. <laughs> this was actually supposed to be a two-part video. One for the build of the shelves and the other 
I was going to detail building um, a set of doors uh, down here on the bottom. And uh, my wife, as spouses do, husbands included, um, changed her mind. It's her prerogative, <laughs> but she changed her mind mid-project. And uh, so I actually cut out all the rails and styles for the doors. Um, I, I went ahead and put all of the domino pockets in and everything. And uh, yeah, uh, it's a one part video. I'm not going to do these doors for this particular project. I am gonna save these actually and use them for another project, but that will be at some point in the future. Um, for now, this is what you see is what you get. Again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.